Welcome back to the Making of Bird game. Last time, I made the player movement system, my first tile set, and some animations for the bird. Oh, and I almost forgot. There's one thing I forgot to tell you about the bird. And that's... The bird... Is on fire. I mean, well, it's, it's made of fire. It's a phoenix! And well, you know, it wasn't too relevant when I was making the movement, but it'll definitely make the combat a lot more interesting. In case it wasn't obvious, I'm going to be starting the combat system for my game today, and what better way to get started than with making the health bar. I want the main resource in the game to be flames, because fire bird, uh, meaning it can be consumed by attacking and also serve as the player's health. I started on the visuals and used this video as a guide to learn how to animate fire. And after a bit of experimentation, this is what I came up with. I do plan on adding more to the border, but you know, this works for now. I put the animations into Unity to test how they look and I was surprised by how readable it was, even when you're not looking directly at it and you're looking in the center of your screen. My only concern is that the constant movement from the flames might be distracting if it's always on screen, but at the same time it allows you to kind of sense how much fire you have just by the movement in the corner of your eye, so it might end up being a good thing. I'll make a note to test different ways of making it less distracting, but without enemies it's kind of hard to tell if it will become a problem, so I'll leave it for now. The next step is going to be adding the first enemy. I decided to start with a neutral enemy, in this case one that can take damage but not attack the player. I quickly made this butterfly an ace sprite and I added it to the game. I gave it a collider and I made it fly in one direction and then turn around if it is about to bump into something. I also added an animation curve to control the velocity of the butterfly over time so I can quickly map its movement. For now I'll put a basic sine wave on the Y axis to make it bob up and down and voila! We have a butterfly. The only problem is, this butterfly is not yet capable of death. Let's fix that by giving the player an attack. The first attack I'm going to make is going to be a simple peck for the bird. After watching this Brachys video I was able to make a simple attack that creates a circle after an input. It returns the objects it collides with and it deals damage to them. Now let's try it on the butterfly. It works! I made some quick animations, uh, there are three frames each, but I did need to take into account that you could be using the peck attack while walking or while standing still. So I made two different animations uh, depending on which action the bird is taking and this is what it looks like right now. And admittedly, because of how the animation looks, it's hard to see what area the attack hits. If the attack was a swipe with like a sword, it'd be easy to add a trail to it. But the peck is more of a jab and it's kind of difficult to sell the movement with the size of the bird. So to fix this problem, I looked at Smash Ultimate to see how they made the stubby character's jabs look more readable. Most characters had a color during the jab and a white circle appear at the end to show where the jab hit. I'm not going to get that fancy just yet, but I am going to put particles that sploosh out around the circle so you can tell where the attack is coming from. You may have also noticed the range on this attack is very bad, and that's on purpose. The peck is meant to be a weak attack and I made it that way for a reason. I want grounded attacks to be bad, so I want to incentivize players to jump a lot and attack from the air. You know, because bird. That's why when you use peck in the air, it becomes a significantly stronger talon swipe. I made this attack have a larger hitbox and more power, but I also gave it slightly more startup time and a little bit of lag if you miss. I'm not happy with the animation yet, but I'll keep working on it. If I can't get it to look the way I want, I'll probably just change it to something easier to animate. I already have a couple ideas but I do want to see if I can make this look good first. Next, I want to make the moves slightly different depending on the amount of flame the player has. For now, they'll do more or less damage depending on the amount of flame, and I'll change the color of the particle effects. And eventually, the plan is to make these entirely different moves. And well, now that the bird can fight back, I think it's time to add an enemy that packs a little bit more of a punch. Or, well, a, a bite. Because it, it, it bites you. Anyway, I made a bite animation and I put it into Unity. I then added a box collider set to is trigger to trigger the animation. After that, I used a system very similar to the one I used for the player to make the attack do damage. Let's once again test it on the butterfly. And chomp. I think I'll call my creation the chompy. They'll be pretty common and probably snacking on butterflies the whole time. Now with the first actual enemy done, I have at least one more to go until I complete my goal. Unfortunately I didn't have time to finish it for this video, but since it's December now I should have a lot more time to get stuff done. Also let me know in the comments if you want me to go into more detail on how I'm making this stuff work. I figured it'd be kind of boring to hear me explain how I wrote my if statements, but I don't know maybe it could be helpful, so if you think that's true then let me know. Other than that, thank you for watching, 
The next video will come out sooner, I promise. See you in the next one.